I believe I'm ready to try putting a drum back on. Um, I replaced all the brake shoes, uh, wheel cylinders, all new springs. I put in some new adjusters. Uh, let's see um, about putting this back on. The first thing we want to do is make sure there's no trash in the spines. Okay, and the brake shoes are all the way down. Okay, let's see if it goes back on. direction because we're going to be tightening this way and I've already led you astray because um, apparently my cheater bar I have will not fit over this torque wrench. Now I didn't have a torque wrench that would go up to 220 pounds so what I did I went down to my local uh, parts store, auto parts store and um, they have a uh, loaner tool so if you don't have them you know have one uh, couldn't find out you can get a lot of tools uh, you just put money down when you bring it back uh, you get your money back so um, so I'm gonna see if I can do this I don't know if I can put 220 pounds of pressure just with uh, the torque wrench itself but we'll see I might have to stand on it so like I said this is my first time so here we go and this is a click type torque wrench Apparently I can. Let's double check it one more time. Apparently that's uh, got a 220. Alright, and then what we're going to want to do is we want to make sure that these little uh, notches in here line up with your holes and hey, I got lucky lines up in the hole. Um, like I said, I recommend getting a new carter pin and then, uh, you know, drops right in the hole. Gonna bend it up over here and that's pretty much it. Um, that actually went pretty smooth. Alright, well I hope this helped you and um, have a good day.